Hey guys, welcome along to another Destiny video. It's weekly reset time again. So we're going to go over the new activities, modifiers, Tyra's artifacts, weekly crucible bounties. Later on today and running for the course of the week will be the very last and final Iron Banner of Destiny 1. We still don't know what Lady Ephrodite will be selling when it comes to the weapons and armor. I think we'll probably be getting some year 1 and year 2 items thrown in there maybe. Okay, so back to the weekly reset, starting with the weekly story playlist, which this week is the Taken War story missions, and the modifiers this week are Heroic, enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive, Solar Burn, solar damage from any source is greatly increased, and Catapult, grenade recharge rate is greatly increased. First completion of this one grants you a Treasure of the Ages and 20 Legendary Marks for the first five playthroughs. Moving on to the Heroic Strike playlist next, modifiers for this week are Heroic, again, enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive. Fresh troops, some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements. Airborne, players deal more damage whilst in the air. And Catapult, grenade recharge rate is greatly increased. First completion of one of these strikes grants you a Treasures of the Ages and 10 legendary marks for the first three completions. Moving on to the Nightfall strike next, and this week it is the Abomination Heist strike, and the modifiers are Solar Burn, solar damage from any source is greatly increased, Specialist, special weapon damage is favoured, Ironclad, so more enemies have shields, Exposure, guardian shields are increased but do not replenish, and Daybreak, the darkness grows stronger and so do you, form a fire team of three and unleash your light with greatly increased ability recharge rates. Next up is the Challenge of the Elders, and this week bonus points are awarded for super kills. The other modifiers are Ironclad, again, so more enemies have shields, and Juggler, so no ammo drops for your equipped weapon. First completion of this grants you a legendary Engram, and 10 legendary marks for your first three completions, as well as whatever weapons and armor pieces you get off of Varix. Moving on to the weekly raid next, and this week is the King's Fall raid, so we've got the War Priest, Golgoroth and Oryx challenge modes available for those adept exotic weapons and Age of Triumph ornaments. The weekly Crucible playlist this week is Doubles, which will grant you a Treasure of the Ages and 10 Legendary Marks for your first match completion. Again, this will change to Iron Banner Control later on today though. We have Control and Supremacy game modes, which will also be Shax's weekly bounties. And the other game modes on offer are Elimination, Salvage and Rumble. All five of those game modes offer you 15 Legendary Marks for your first match completion in their respective modes. Off to the Iron Temple and Tyra Khan next to see what artifacts she has for us this week. And we have the Memory of Yolda with Discipline and Strength. This one has a 95% stat roll and removes the Sprint cooldown penalty. We also have the Memory of Silamar with Intellect and Discipline. This one is a 109% stat roll and greatly increases resistance to damage over time attacks in the Crucible. Finally, we have the Memory of Scory with an 87% stat roll on this one with Intellect and Discipline. When your super is full, kills cause nearby allies' supers to recharge faster. As I mentioned earlier, this week will be the very last instance of Iron Banner, at least for Destiny 1. I'll be making a video with what Lady Ephrodite's stock is later on, so keep an eye out for that one. If you like the video, guys, please give it a like rating and subscribe so you don't miss any future content, and I will see you guys again soon.